So now I'd like to talk to you about something that I believe is an extraordinarily important subject because it gets missed. We live in a culture and a time where there's been a big emphasis on self-esteem. A large emphasis on self-esteem. But one of the major factors that is affecting your level of wealth and success in a general sense is your level of self-worth. Here's what's interesting about self-worth. Your level of real success is always equal to your level of self-worth. However, your level of self-worth is equal to your level of self-knowledge. And your level of self-knowledge is equal to your level of self-development. So the more that you know yourself and you develop yourself, the better your self-worth becomes. And as a result, the better your worth becomes. Because your wealth is determined by your worth. The challenge is that we have given our self-worth to the hands of others via self-esteem. We let other people determine who we are, what it is that we have that's valuable or not valuable, because somebody else decided that. When they put you down and said to you, it's not going to happen for you, and you got shattered from that, that's because your self-worth is being dominated by your self-esteem. So you ask, what's the difference? Your self-esteem is external. Your self-worth is internal. Your self-worth is determined by how you feel you bring value to the world. It's what you know about yourself at an intrinsic value level. What's within you. And unless you are willing to open up and begin to embrace the gifts that were given to you when you came to this planet, even though they may have been hidden from you for a very long time, you can never really know your self-worth. And so what happens is we allow our self-worth to be taken away by others. We allow them to determine what it is. Let me ask you, everybody see what that is? Tell me what it is. Hundred dollar bill. It's a hundred dollar bill. If I take this in the bank, what do they tell me this is worth? Hundred dollars. Every time? Well, only sometimes. Every time. If I go into a candy store to buy candy, how much candy will they give me? hundred dollars worth. Isn't this strange? What about if we go to a hardware store? Surely it's different there, right? What's it worth there? $100. Tell me, come on, what's it worth? $100. Okay. Toy store, what's it worth? $100. Every time, no matter what store I go in, always a hundred dollars? That's really interesting. What about now? What's it worth now? $100. Still a hundred dollars. It's, but it's all crinkly now. Still a hundred dollars. Huh. What about now? You rotten little horrible hundred dollar bill! What's it worth now? $100. Oh, come on. It's been stumped on. What about now? $100. Still a hundred bucks. Really? What about now? You are the most useless hundred dollar bill there has ever been. You are such a complete disappointment to me. I thought you would be much better than you are. I'm so disappointed in you. What's it worth now? $100. And yet all those things happened to it. It got abused in all those ways. And it's still worth a hundred dollars. Here's the deal. 
shit happens, it doesn't make you shit. You are just like this hundred dollar bill. You may have been crushed, you may have been stumped on, and you may have been abused, but your value never, ever changed. Don't give your value to somebody else. Your self-worth is intrinsic. It is the truth of who you are. Don't let anybody take it away. Because in truth, you are a magnificent being with amazing gifts. And the world will only be a better place when you are willing to know your true value isn't about what you've experienced, but who you really are at a true value level. Thank you.